Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I think it was the great Stoic philosopher Seneca who said, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. That being said, I don't know if Buwan Chuan would call his win at the border states last month lucky but it sure did feel like one of those moments when preparation and opportunity did happen to cross paths. If you're a fan of the men's physique division, then you've probably had Buon on your radar since he really started to take off in the middle of last season. But for everyone else, that win really put him on the radar as someone to watch out for heading down the stretch. This division is one of the few I see having some wiggle room at the top, so if you can figure out a way to take advantage of that opportunity again, Maybe Lady Luck will shine some more light in his direction. One of the best pieces of advice someone ever gave me was to stop comparing myself to everyone else and start comparing myself to who I was yesterday. Waking up every day and being committed to making small improvements is one of the only surefire ways in life to make consistent improvement. But when you've already set the bar as high as Jeremy Podfin has, doing the little things almost comes as second nature. This week, Jeremy's team went on record to say that their main goal right now is to beat the 10th place that he took last year at the Olympia by making sure that everything they do from here on out is done with a specific purpose. Beat the man in the mirror. Be better than we were yesterday. That's the goal. That's the marker. And that's how they stay on track. So as long as they don't lose sight of that, I can see Jeremy Potvin making a solid push for a top six finish this year. Who's ready to perform? That's the real essence of what competition is all about, isn't it? It's all about what you can do in the gym or how good the lighting makes you look in front of that magic mirror. It's all about who brings it on game day, period. And for a veteran like Hide Yamagishi, game day is what it's all about. Believe it or not, 2020 will be Hide's 10th career trip to the Olympia stage, which really makes you step back and appreciate what kind of impact he's had on this division throughout his career. This guy is one of the more underrated athletes of his generation. And the fact is, you don't make 10 trips to the Olympia stage without knowing what this game is all about. And when those lights come on, you can bet your butt that Heaty will be on that stage ready to perform. I know Halloween is this weekend and some of you are probably running around trying to find last minute outfits for your kids and maybe even yourself. But if anyone out there sees a Cedric McMillan costume, let me know, because this guy is starting to look scary. On Monday, Cedric released a teaser on his Instagram that gave his fans a taste of what he's working with nine weeks out from making his annual pilgrimage to the Olympia stage. The fact that we get so little of this stuff from Cedric on a regular basis actually makes these little teasers more appetizing, because they're always just enough to keep you wanting more. And if the entree is as good as the appetizer, his fans are about to come in for a special treat come December. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.